Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So whenever I started doing YouTube, my smartphone was my main video camera. But not only that, it was also my entire video editing studio where I created hundreds of videos just through my smartphone and my video editor of choice was Cyberlink PowerDirector. And even though I absolutely love using the mobile version of this software, I've never used the desktop version until now. So on this episode, I'm going to be doing a review of Cyberlink PowerDirector 18 Ultimate Edition, giving you the pros and cons and my overall thoughts from somebody who does YouTube and video editing practically every single day. Now before I get into the review, full disclosure, I did get a review copy of Cyberlink PowerDirector 18 Ultimate. However, all my thoughts and opinions are my own. So let's go ahead and get into the review. So now whenever you start off PowerDirector 18, you are greeted with a variety of options. The first thing you see here is different aspect ratios you can use for your project. 16 by 9, 4 by 3, 9, 16, 1 by 1, and then also 360 degree videos. And where we're going to be spending our time in this review is in the full editor mode, but there's also three other options available. There is storyboard mode where you could basically drop your clips down in a storyboard type fashion for people who want to make videos this way you could drop down videos images and so forth so this is the storyboard mode and then the second mode that we have is uh, basically the slideshow creator and so what this will allow you to do is uh, put in a whole bunch of image clips and it'll go ahead and put it all together for you and then similarly to that we also have a auto mode which basically allows you to just bring in a whole bunch of clips and then Cyberlink Director is going to give you some theme for the entire project and it's going to go ahead and create it for you. Now we won't go over any of these today but I just wanted to give you a high level overview of what that offers. So now let's get into the full editor mode and get into the review of PowerDirector 18 Ultimate Edition. And the very first pro that I could definitely say that Cyberlink PowerDirector has is it has a ton of features. So this is a editor that I think is not only a video editor, but it's pretty much a full featured production studio. So let me give you an overview of what we have here in our workspace. So here is where all your clips are. And this is the edit mode. And then if you look up here, there are a variety of tabs. There's capture, edit, produce, and there's also a create disc where you could burn discs like DVDs or Blu-ray. And so here you can see all your clips, whether they are image clips or audio or video clips, it's all here. And you can also filter it as well by the different types of clips that you want to see, as you can see here. And right here, you could also import media. Here you could put in plugins, which there are a variety available. And here there are different filters here as well. And you could also have a, a sort option right here. So right now we have it by medium icons, but we can also look at it by details. And so if you wanted to see the details of each of these files, uh, this is an easy way to do that. And then another thing here, you can actually adjust the thumbnail size if you want as well. So this is the workspace area. But here as we look to the left, here's where all the other features come into play. So this is your primary media room. So basically your project library with all your clips. Down here we have our effects room. So there are a lot of effects here. You can look at all the effects at once or you could sort it. Down here we have a variety of different, uh, I would say built-in images and graphics. And then here we have a particle room. So here's some defaults right here. And here we have a whole bunch of different text that we can use. Then further we have transitions all the transitions that are available to us. And here we have our audio mixing room. So you could do some audio mixing with a variety of different uh, audio tracks or sources. So below our audio mixing, we have voiceover recording. So this is a great feature to have because it allows you to do voiceovers directly in PowerDirector. And so this will save you a ton of time versus having to record your audio separately and then having to sync that up later in your video editor. Now there are two other options here, but they're not available until you actually drop a clip in your timeline. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll drop this clip. 
And once you do that, as you can see, those options are now available for you to use. And so the first one that we have here is chapter room. So what this will allow you to do is group all your clips in a variety of chapters. So this is great for when you want to keep things organized, especially if you have more complex projects. And then below that, we have our subtitle room. So you can create subtitles here directly in PowerDirector. So this is another very welcome feature. Besides the features that we have here in our video editor, they also provide you with a screen recorder with a variety of recording options, different resolutions, frame rates, and some additional features right here. So as you can see, PowerDirector is a fully featured system that could be your entire production studio, which leads me to the second pro, and that is templates. There's so many built-in templates in this program. This is something that I really enjoyed having in the mobile version and the desktop version goes even further. This is going to save you a ton of time because one of the biggest problems that I had with a lot of professional video editors is they don't give you a lot of built-in templates. Whereas Cyberlink PowerDirector has always been the one that provides you with so many right at the beginning. And for most people who are starting out or even people who do this regularly, most of these are going to cover everything you need. But they also provide you with additional free templates or if you wanted to you could also purchase additional packs as well and then the final pro that i see with power director is the fact that even though you get all these features this is a fairly easy to use program and i think for most people within an hour to two hours you have pretty much figured out the majority of all the features it's very easy to navigate and everything just makes sense this is in stark contrast to the more pro video editors out there, which could be very complex and it has a much higher learning curve. And so I think that's one of the biggest strengths that PowerDirector has by providing you so many features while still being very easy to use. And so those are all the main pros that I see with PowerDirector 18 Ultimate Edition. So now let's go ahead and look at some of the cons. And so the first con might be one that's a big one for some people because PowerDirector is currently only available for Microsoft Windows. And so if you are a Apple Mac user or you are a Linux user, then no Cyberlink Power Director for you. And this is a shame because I think this is a good all around video editor that a lot of people would enjoy using. And hopefully in the future, Cyberlink will make this multi-platform just like other competing video editors. Which leads me to the second con. Even though PowerDirector has a lot of pro features which will allow you to make professional grade videos, this is not a professional grade video editor. Especially if you compare to other video editors like Adobe Premiere, Apple Final Cut Pro, or DaVinci Resolve which is what I have here. There's just simply a different class of video editors and so there's just a lot more going on with these professional grade video editors. And more importantly, these video editors are the ones that are used in entertainment, in professional and commercial places. And so if you are somebody who's thinking about doing video editing as a professional or working for big Hollywood studios or production houses, then more than likely you're going to have to learn how to use these pro video editing tools versus something like Cyberlink PowerDirector. And so the final con that I have with PowerDirector is it just has these quirks that affects the overall performance and workflow. So let me give you an example. So if I decided to save my file, it just takes a while to save everything. You know, it's saving thumbnails and then it's saving the videos and that just really slows things down. So another annoying thing is say, for example, you wanted to remove a clip. So all you have to do is select the clip and you press delete or you go up here to the delete button. Now, whenever you do this, there's three different types of deletes. Now, even though there are keyboard shortcuts, it's just really annoying that you're going to have to remember three different ways to delete and that you simply just can't press delete and it'll remove it and do everything else for you. So that's really something that affects your overall workflow and it's just an additional step that you shouldn't really have to remember and I definitely don't like the fact that I would have to remember three different shortcuts just to delete a clip. So that is definitely an annoyance and I really don't understand why they designed that way. And then other things that affect me or just really bother me is say for example you get to the end of your project right and you press play. So what happens is at the end of it, it goes back to the beginning. Now this is how it works out of the box and I um, really don't understand why they did it that way because most video editors, whenever you get to the end, it just stops here at the end. So whenever you have to do that, it just really, once again, 
affects your overall workflow. And then the final thing that just really bothers me is whenever you are playing a clip, right? And you want it to zoom in and out. You would normally hold down control and then use your mouse wheel scroll. And what happens is it actually stops it from playing. And so instead of it just allowing you to play and zoom in and out, it stops it in the middle. And so once again, it causes you to take an additional step and affects your overall workflow. And so that is probably some of the biggest annoyances that I have. And it is a con for me because I really do like, you know, working fast and just not having to think about all these little things that could add up to big things. And so those are my thoughts on Cyberlink PowerDirector 18 Ultimate Edition, uh, both the main pros and cons that I see with this video editor. And if I had to think of whether or not this is a good video editor, I do think it is for the majority of people, especially if you are somebody who doesn't really want to spend a lot of time going through the learning curve of getting into something that's more complex, you know, like Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Avid, and so forth. And even though I don't feel like this is going to be the best video editor all around because I do like the pro video editors better, I think this is going to work for the majority of people and it's going to allow them to really create good looking videos without having to be a technical wizard. And so those are all my thoughts on this particular video editor. And if this is something that you wanted to get and you wanted to support my channel, I do have an affiliate link. I will leave that in the description area below. And if you had any other thoughts on Cyberlink PowerDirector or any other video editors that you enjoy using, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.